Right now we're at uh, Washington County Airport in Washington, Pennsylvania. It's a small municipal airport. It's not the entire runway, it's about a half of the runway. We did a mill, some base repairs, and then we're gonna pave this. So we're gonna tandem pave with two pavers going so we have a hot joint so we don't have to cut. Um, that'll help us with our compaction and making sure that we don't have any failures in our joints. I think total out of here was about 6,000 tons that we took out of the center of this runway. We milled about five inches deep on this particular job and that's what we'll be putting back in. There's about three inches of the binder wearing and then two inches of the wearing on the top. The total length that we are paving is 1,700 feet. It's right around, I believe it's like 2,100 tons per day. We have our uh, S2000, our 10-foot rubber track paver with our VR600 screed, which is our rear mount screed. Our rear mount screed is about 9,300 pounds, which is ideal for this type of work because the IRI, the International Roughness Spec requirement for airport is pretty uh, significant. So a heavy rear mount screed is ideal for those type of requirements. The airport specs that we're trying to maintain is to get the final coat is 56 ride or better. The Vogel paver helps us accomplish these specs because it has a heavier screed and it seems to get the numbers better. The other pavers we have to put take off plates down so we can get our depth right. With the Vogel's heavier screed, you just take off right from the ground and go with it and it comes out perfect. We have a good relationship with Groff because we've used their milling machines and their rollers for years. When we decided to get another paver this year, they came to us and said, hey, we want to quote this paver. And then they actually flew us down to, to Nashville so we could see it in the factory and go over it, had a technician down there with us. When they saw how the machine was put together, the structural integrity of the screed, it really uh, piqued their interest. We were looking for a heavier screed. So we do mostly highway work and, and, and airport work. A lighter screed has too much flex to it. With this VR600, the rear mount 10-foot screed, it's heavier and that's why we went with it. The other thing it came down to, I mean, price was seemed to be a little bit better, and availability. A lot of lead time on manufacturer's favorite equipment right now. And this paver, we were able to get it this season so we can actually start utilizing it from all my guys' input. I mean, they really like it right now. The automation on the Vogula seems to just be real intuitive, real user-friendly. When you get everything set, you really don't have to go back and touch much. You let the automation do its own thing. The operator, he really likes the controls. They're a lot simpler. My guys that run the screws on the ground, they really like them. They're a lot simpler to run. They like the power that the screen has to suck back in and out. And like for the mechanical side, the mechanics really like the fact that it's easier to work on them than with the other pavers. We're using the sonic sensors and the non-contact skis set up on both sides. It's a real nice setup. You can set your grade and your slope and everything. Guy on the back of the screen almost gets bored because there's not a whole lot for him to do once he gets everything dialed in. So our big ski have three sensors. And if you look closely at the sensors, you will see red lights. The red light indicate the movement of the toe point. So if it's calling for a correction up, the red light will flash up. But you, if you also look closely, you will see a series of amber lights. The amber light is used to position the sensor in its working window. So rather than have to use a, a guess or use a measuring tape, you use the amber light to tell you when you're within your working window. The ski sensors are so much simpler to set up. They're lighter, one person can do them by themselves. We do like how they sit up a lot higher and so the guys can actually move around up underneath them if they need to get like a shovel full of asphalt. They don't have to worry about bumping into them. If you look closely at our big ski, you will see all the clamps are over center clamps, which makes it easy to clamp everything together without the use of tools. So once it's set up the first time, every time after that, you don't require any tool to set up the big ski. With some other manufacturers, the learning curve seems to be a little longer. With this being more intuitive and user-friendly, our guys are picking it up real fast. First day on the job, we did have some Groff personnel down there to do some training with us, and it seems like all of our guys just kind of grabbed it and ran with it. Now they fight over it. They, they really don't want to give this paver up. They, they want it to go with their crew, and it just bounces around from job to job.